It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Oregon State is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 18-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Room around the corner. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. Across midfield. And he's taken down at the 37. And he almost broke it for the score. You're right. They talked all week long about getting this tailback involved in their offense. Here they just gave it to him on a toss, and he was able to come up with some big yards. From the 37-yard line, first down. He wants it all going long. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Yeah. One, two, three. Quick throw. He's hit and taken down. That's good for him. Seven yards. That'll bring up third and two. Third down and two. Ball on the 30-yard line. The 21-yard line. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a team of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Second and four. Ball on the 15-yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Handoff to the right. Heading for the corner. Tackle at about the five-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. At the four-yard line, the running back picks up a yard on the counter. That brings in second and goal. Second down and goal. Ball on the four. Steps up. Throws quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. He makes the PAT. 
An eight-play, 82-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Nice run there. So he holds on to it and gets a good five yards. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Here's a run. They'll bring him down around the 31-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7-0, Florida. to the action now here in the second quarter. He's out of bounds at the 32. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings us fourth and three. Weston, back to return it. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He fields a punt at the 20. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Florida is up seven. goes down quickly. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Tackle made the 38-yard line. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. Third and five. Ball on the 38-yard line. Mike eight. Mike eight. Man open. Incomplete. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. Ghoul back deep to return. Fields it at the 27. And he's taken down at the 38. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That makes it first and ten.
scrambling around. Going for it all to the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown, Beaver. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT with a three-play 61-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. We get a tie game at 7-7. Hayes ready to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. These receivers need to be ready because he's capable of really launching some passes. That one was just out of reach. Just a minute to go in the first half of play. Tries to buy some time. Dives forward. He scrambled. He's taken down around the 46-yard line. And he has a huge gain. And I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. From their own 46-yard line. It's second down. The Gators quarterback down on the sideline after getting injured earlier. I think it looks like he's in that much pain, and I would bet that we're going to see him back in the game before the day's over. The Beavers will use their first time out of the half. Zips it to the back. And down he goes, around the 33-yard line. The Beavers use their second timeout. Gould is back awaiting the punt. Gould feels at the 31. Tackle made at the 34. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right in the mouth. Excellent open field tackle. Oregon State's called their final timeout. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Shot, the defender tips it away. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up, and something good may just happen. Rolling out to the left side. Throws complete touchdown. That for ending the first half on a high note. A terrific play, and they'll just be soaring now into the halftime break. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A great first half comes to a close. 14-7, Beaver.
We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they tried to come up with. So, to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're gonna keep getting what you've been getting. And you gotta find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run us a reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody, bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. <laughs> Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He'll return it from the three. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. Oregon State is up by a touchdown. Gives it right side. And he has it on the corner. He's at midfield. And he's tackled at the 39-yard line. This is a team that knows when and how to attack on the ground. They have a very good sense for what plays will work when. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. They come out in a goal line set. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. get it to the 29 and he's got all the time in the world just throws this one away They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Taken down at the 23. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. He's scrambling, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. From their own 19-yard line, third down. Well, 
Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. Gould is back deep to return. Forty-seven yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Oregon State is up a score. Now he's scrambling. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 47 yard line, it's second down. Slings it to the 10. Touchdown, OSU! And for Nolan, he gets his third touchdown pass of the game. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making points. That is a great touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A quick two-play, 47-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. Oregon State's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and the linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill when they can attack this offense. Run up the middle. That's a game seven. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Tackle around the 41 yard line. Seven yard line. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play. I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. So with one quarter remaining, Oregon State in front, 21-7. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. All day, just like that, just like that. Less than three minutes in the game. He's on the run. Now he's gonna run and watch out. They'll bring him down at about the 41. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 30. Brought down around the 21-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Scrambling around. And he's going to be sacked. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day.
Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. And he can't get away from the pressure. This is the eighth play of the drive. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Quick pass inside the 10. He scores. What a play. What a time for that touchdown. And now they've still got a chance in this game. He makes the PAT. Florida has their hand team on the field, but it looks like the return team isn't too concerned about the onside kick. Looks like they're going to keep the football, folks. Well, the special teams did their job. Now it's up to the offense. If they don't capitalize here, I doubt they'll get another chance. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. From their own 45-yard line, second down. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Just an unbelievable stop where they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And he's tackled around the 26-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. From the 26-yard line, first down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Tries to get around the corner. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. The Gators call a timeout. That's their second of the half. So the halfback loses about two on the run. From the 28-yard line, second down.
tries to buy some time. Throws it to the outside. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he splits the uprights. Oregon State gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. For Oregon State, their pass rush has really been impressive today, Kirk. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. Well, when this offense does complete a pass, they're not doing that badly. Yeah, pretty decent average. So if they can do more of that, it'll swing the pressure around. All the good plays from this defense has helped them into the lead. Last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. Brad, this offense, the last time they were out there, went for it on fourth down and came up short. So I'm all for being aggressive, but I really think you've got to be smart when it comes to when to go for it on fourth down and when to punt and try to affect field position. Let's see if this offensive coordinator and play caller has learned from some of his mistakes in the past. We have less than a minute to go. Rifles this one out to the left. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. And down he goes around the 12-yard line. They bring him down. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on the 18 yard line. He gets sacked on the play. Makes the catch and look out. So the play of the day. Fourth and ball game and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. The defense held them to three on their last possession. Pitching a shutout on this drive would be even better. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. Florida's out of timeouts. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. Let's go. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. So that's going to do it. The Beavers take this one. 24-14. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.